This is a short video on how I made the clamps for my ski press. The first step is to cut the pieces to length. If you have a six inch wide ski press, you should only go an inch and a half over if you're using wood. And thus, your pieces should be nine inches long, just as I'm doing here. The next step to making your clamps is cutting them to width. Uh, since I'm using plywood, I need them to be strong, so I'm making them an inch and a half wide. But say you're using steel, you could probably go up to, or go as thin as half an inch, depending on the strength and thickness of your steel. Now that you've cut all your pieces, the next step is to center punch them so you can drill holes for the threaded rods used to clamp your press. I'm using quarter inch threaded rods, so I'm using quarter inch holes. Uh, as you can see here, I have a piece with a knot in it, and I throw that to the side as I cut extra pieces because you don't want knots as those sections of the wood are weak points. Once you've center punched all your holes, it's really easy to take a quarter inch drill bit or whatever size threaded rod you're using and drill out the holes. Uh, repeat this for both sides of course, so you have two threaded rods per side. Now that all the wood shaping is done, I'm moving on to the threaded rods which will be used as the actual clamping means of the ski press. I don't want to cut these 12 times since that's how many threaded rods I had, so I'm using zip ties to tie them all together and I'm going to make the cut once. Here I'm just marking the length I need to cut my threaded rods to, and since I zip tie them together, I only have to make this cut once, which is a big time saver. The final step to making your clamps is the assembly. For this you need four nuts, two end caps, and two of your threaded rod pieces. I start off by threading a nut onto one end of each threaded rod, then I push that threaded rod through the holes and line them up on the two end caps, and from there I just thread on a nut on the other side, and there you have some simple squeeze clamps that I use as the clamps for my press.